guys, it's Car Guy 11 Today I have my 2016 C7 Corvette Z51 behind me. And it reached five years old this month, unbelievably. 32,000 miles. I had to do some maintenance to it. And I want to talk to you guys about maintenance costs and required maintenance on the C7 Corvette. So stay tuned. So as we look under the engine bay, first thing everyone has to do religiously is oil changes now this is the z51 model has the dry sump oiling system which actually has two tanks the sump tank on the side here plus the oil pan itself and i have yet to do this myself i've taken it to the dealer of course the first two years of maintenance are covered by the dealer under the chevy maintenance plan but i have since paid for it to be done and it's range anywhere from about 90 dollars to 140 which i just paid this month so it it varies widely based on the dealer but i don't have a good way of lifting the car on ramps i may in the future investigate uh doing it on my own but for now i just been taking it to the dealer powertrain warranty also just finished up here a five years so i may may start doing more of that stuff on my own let me know in the comments below if you change your own oil on the c7 now oil changes are affected by time and miles so typically it's once a year for me as i don't put a ton of miles on it the one year an exception was when i did the cross-country trip so i had to change oil twice that year but it's around 7500 miles or every year so this year i only put about 3,000 miles on it and the oil indicator came up at a year's time now i also have my elite engineering catch can oil air separator on the dirty side of the engine i made a video on this install a few years ago but that also needs emptied once every oil change and it, it, it's still only a little bit of, of fluid in there but it's good to empty it every year next we have the engine air filter i believe it's recommended every 30,000 miles i of course have the engine intake and prior to that i had a blue attack blue filter so i've changed it several times in the 30,000 miles already but this is a little bit more complicated if you're not comfortable under the hood it, it, it's not as easy as clips that you that you can change out a filter I, of course, thought, did this myself. I'm not sure what the dealer would charge for that. And I have videos of the install for the intake and also changing out the OEM filter. Along with that, we have the cabin air filter, which is hidden under the dash, under here. Uh, this can be done yourself as well. It's a little bit more difficult. I have a video on how to do it, but it's a little bit more difficult with the dry sump engine oil lines running uh, in front of in front of that lid but still doable yourself next we have the clutch fluid if you have a manual transmission car of course that is recommended to change every three years i have not done this this requires taking apart the exhaust underneath the car which i don't want the dealer touching because of course i have a off-road x-pipe and I don't want them to be messing with that. So what I've been doing, and I have a video on it, I've been using the Ranger method, just sucking out the old fluid, putting new fluid in, pumping the pedal, and flushing it out that way. Now I know it's not a complete oil change, but I think it's, it's good enough. Next we have brake fluid. And this I had changed out by the dealer to dot four, since I do track the car and it is recommended. It, the, for some reason, factory fill is dot three. So you want to get that changed out to dot four if you are tracking the vehicle. Now you should have dot four fluid changed every two years at a minimum, uh, and, and maybe even more often if you track the car a lot. But I had to deal or replace it because they activate the ABS computer to get the fluid from the solenoids and pumps and and make sure it's a complete fluid change so that's why i have the dealer do that i know a lot of people uh, just will do it themselves as well now another big one for the z51 cars is the fluid change for the elsd the electronic differential now this i've had the dealer done it's recommended after your first track day and after every 24 hours of track time otherwise if you don't track the car 
it says 45,000 miles. So I had to change. Of course, if you guys remember, I blew out the rear differential on the drag strip a few years ago. And so I've had to change several times uh, between getting a new one, the first track day, all that stuff. So the dealer will charge up to $200 to do this though. So it is rather expensive. Other than that, you have tires and brakes, which of course will wear depending on use. And I of course have a video on how to change the pads very easy with the Brembo's front and rear and then of course I changed the track pads which dusts more but I do track the vehicle so there you have it guys let me know in the comments below if you do your own maintenance or where you take your Corvette for maintenance I hope you enjoyed this one thanks for all your support please join me in future videos and I'll see you in the next one